Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Chassidus in the Morning. 15 minutes to change our lives. Kuchus Amayin, we'll start off by giving tzedakah. Because, G'day L'Tzedak, Shrekeres HaGeula, that admits Hashem, through our actions, my sin of Avedisenu, in this time period, it should be the impetus, and it should be the one that causes Mashiach to come. And of course, we're, we're thinking about, and we're, we're learning in honor of all the Yidin Eretz Yisrael and all the soldiers that are putting their lives in line, having Mesir Nefesh Mamash, and also for all the hostages that are unfortunately still in captivity. We're going to focus on Yachi ben Ziva. That it's Hashem, Yachi ben Ziva should be healthy and safe. And we should have Mashiach, and everything will, will all make sense and all be good. Okay. Maimer Chav Zayin. Chav Zayin and Chav Ches. We're, we're down to the last two. And Chav Ches is only one barracks. So it's about three more parakim. Big stuff. Okay, my So now we're going to discuss. Really, it's sort of in in a certain sense a side point, but it's it's really the main point is how to learn properly. And this is also brought down in Hayim Yim, but we'll see it here. Parak Aleph. In a a luasher or nafsham eli kiss may bahem begilui those people that the light of the neshama is shining within them in a revealed way. Meaning, the light of the Nisham is shining. They listen to the Nefshali kiss. They're inspired. They're pumping. They have life. They're excited. They have a knowledge and an and, and, and understanding in godliness. Which, which when we, I think when we say here, Das, not just a knowledge, like an intellectual knowledge, but like really connected. Whoever well, was at the Shir last night, we know what we're talking about. Really connected, really feeling godliness, feeling the connection, things like this. And the main thing, Shehem Bala Avedo. How do they get this? It's because they're Bala Avedo. They do walk on themselves. What does that mean? It's not just that they know godliness. We could learn something and, and hear good ideas. Ela Shehem Bala Avedo. But they take action. They do something about it. Hashem recall Dava Hasaga that every idea that they understand, Yesh Lahem Some action comes out of it. And this is this is everything. And therefore, the, the sensitivity of the godly soul overcomes and is able to overcome the, the sensitivity of the animal soul. Besides the fact that it gives them the ability not to make foolish mistakes from the Etahara, instead of staying up very late, they go to bed early. When the Etahara comes and tells them, oh, Come, let's stay up, let's watch this thing, let's do this thing, let's continue going on my cell phone and, and uh, scrolling or whatever we do. And you say, No, it doesn't make any sense. It's not a good idea. I'm going to bed. Where does that ability to come from? That ability to make those decisions, to transform ourselves, and to really make better choices in life, is by is we're saying is by it's not just by learning, but it's being able to take at a veda, something to an action, actionable items from the learning. Yeah, but even more is they get like ideas. New ideas of how to implement things. Like we said in Maimer Aleph, Perak Gimel and Dalek, we said right at the beginning, the first Maimer of this whole country. The Milo is mean Anushi, Vitachis Briyasa Elam, the special advantage of us, of us, and the purpose that we're here in the creation of the world. And we refine ourselves when we go up, level after level. The Hagbaras Hatsur Al overcoming the the form over the substance, meaning, meaning, and this is let's let's unpack this idea. But this is this is like everything. The story is like this. A lot of time we learn, and, and we can all recognize. What do we do? We learn, and what we do? We finish learning. We close the book and we walk off. So what we're saying is the key, the key to transformation, is when we finish learning. First of all, we got to make sure we learn it well. We understand it. Really get it. But but even if we do really get it, which is an important step, not enough just to get it very well. We have to ask ourselves, so how is my life going to change from what I've learned? How can I implement this in a way? It doesn't mean it has to be crazy. 
We don't have to do crazy things. Small things, small actionable items. It could be that that I'm learning here how to overcome my Yitzhahara in so, in, so I'm going to overcome my Yitzhahara in making sure to go to bed earlier, 10 minutes earlier than what I want to. Trying to set, maybe I need to set my clock, my 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 alarm to go off at uh, 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock. And that's a reminder that I have to start winding down. Maybe I'm going to work on reading a book in my bed. I'll go to bed earlier, read a book of a chassidim or something, something good, positive, before I go to bed. You know, these ideas, and that's what, we, that's what we're saying. Everything we learn, we have to learn it well enough to, to connect with it and also be able to have an actual item. Actual item doesn't always mean something you have to physically do. I'm going to give tzedakah every day, which is also good, but sometimes it means I'm going to think about something. It's going to meditate. Meditate means take the idea that we learned and think about it. What does it mean? Like we talked about yesterday in the shir, in the sikh shir that we learned, we have to recognize that that we that that it, using the analogy, it's like a person that's in the dumps, and the king himself comes and takes them from the dumps and brings them into his chamber. That only the king himself goes and and cleans the person up, takes care of them. How much love would that person have for the king after what the king has done for them? And we can think about that every day. You wake up and before you start your davening, you think about it like. You know, and how much more so, and this is what Hashem did to us, took us out of Mitzrayim, the Arabs Haaretz, which is a very bad place. We were in the dumps and took us out. And, and Hashem does it to us. And you say, oh, Hashem, Hashem, God Almighty, King of Kings, cares about what I do, cares about me, and He has a mission for me. And we, and if, if we think about it, not just say this word, but we think about it, we internalize that message, that will give us the ability to have a different day. That will help us make that the better choices that we're meant to be making and listen to the Yetzir Tev of the Yetzir Hara. And this is this is and this is what the the, the Rabbi Shab is saying here. He's saying there's there's the healthy person, and that's what they do. They learn, and not just that they learn, they internalize the messages of the learning. They they take out something from it. And if you're learning, you say this is nothing going to do with anything. I don't understand what I'm meant to be doing for this information. It's not like I learned something about an official curse, and therefore I'm going to go to bed earlier. Seemingly, there's two separate ideas. So if you need help with understanding what I'm going to take from this, from what I've learned, come see me or, or my wife or my shpia, whoever you have, and we'll help you. But this is sort of the key. This is the game changer, really. That's the game changer. People learn, they run through a sikha, they close it, and then you wonder why nothing has ever changed. You, or, or you say, oh, so I learned, oh, you have to be more idle, be less grub, more idle. It doesn't work that way. You can't chop a sikha and you can't transform your life by chopping something. Ah, well, that's, it's that, but that's, that's the point. That's the healthy person. They learn, they connect with it, they take an actionable item and they, they live by that and it transforms them. Now, ah, well, me, shein, boy, oh, nishmasi, me, boy, begilu, but what happens? Someone doesn't do this. And therefore, the repercussions of not doing this is that the light of the nishma is not, not shining and therefore, the Yetzirah is able to convince us and to get us to do the wrong thing, go to bed late, and not and not do the right things. So you see, I, I also, this is the 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 Eitzah, the solution, the answer for such a person. Should I live? Should I love it? Clearly, they have brainers. What what should you do? Don't get into discussions. Stand strong with anything that gets in the way. But take of God with great strength. Which is from the second level of the soul, which is connected to the Etzim and the Neshama. Meaning, if you're not holding on this first level that we talked about till now, so what do you do? Yeah, meaning, meaning, if you did all that Aveda, so then it'll be easier to get up. But let's say you didn't do that of you, know, you went to bed super late, and you have to get up. So now what are you gonna do? So you're saying you have to stand strong, you have to say, I have enough shall kiss. And I need to get up. Let's get up. We're going. Let's go. You know? Oh, but I want to talk about it, but let's just discuss. No discussions. We're going. Be so. We're leaving. We're getting up. We're going to Davin. And you, and you, that's what you do. Whatever it is, whatever example you give, and this is part of the first point, we have to learn how to internalize these messages as well. We have to figure out where is that, where am I holding in this? Where does this express itself? Could be going to bed late, 
It could be um, eating not good food. It could be saying not good things to ourselves. It could be not davening every day. It could be not learning. It could be whatever it is. Recognizing it and, and recognizing when it comes up, what am I doing? Come up, I'm going. I'm going to do the right thing. Behold, intellect and emotions, they're just, they're just powers of us. They're not essentially who we are. They're expressions of ourselves. They're like etzim, and not our essence. But the essence of our neshama is above our intellect. And this it says in Shemais, What does it say? It says, we are a stiff-necked people. But what does it say should after that? And I forgave them. Meaning, normally you think about it, where stiff means you're stubborn. You know, these people that are stubborn, it's very annoying. It's like, you know, just, just follow along. Why do you have to be so stubborn? But what we learn, it says, and you are forgiven. Meaning, this, that we're stubborn. This is a, a mylar. This is something good. This is a positive character trait. You can have, being stubborn is very healthy. In a simple example, stubborn is very healthy. There's stubborn in the negative, there's stubborn in the positive. You know? And that's the reason why there's the forgiveness, because of the stubbornness. What does that mean? The stubbornness is that I do the right thing and I stay away from doing the wrong thing, not because of logic, not because of any calculations, not because it makes sense to me, because I'm stubborn. I'm a Jew, and that's what we do. And, and you know, unfortunately, we've been able to see this very often nowadays after the whole terrorist attack and war in Eretz Yisrael. A lot of Jews come out of the woodwork, and they're starting to do more Torah mitzvahs. And it's not logical. It's not for any good reason. Just it's this Judaism stubbornness, healthy. And that brings out the, the slicha because the stubbornness it pushes us through. Even though I'm tired, even though, even though I went to bed super late, but I have this stubbornness and I'm getting up. That's it. I'm not, not having this discussion. What I have to do tomorrow? I have to make sure I get some sleep. But, but today, I'm being stubborn. And for example, This is like someone that is obstinate. He doesn't go according to logic. You see very clearly, we see very clearly that someone that goes according to their logic, they're a lot more convincible. You can convince them because it's logic. So if the logic makes sense, then they'll go. And if the logic doesn't make sense, if you can prove that logic doesn't make sense, then they'll be turned the other way. This, they go according to the logic. Therefore, their desires are coming from this intellect. Like it's known, like it's known that the seichel intellect weakens the desire. When it's coming, when, when our desire for something is coming from our intellect, it's never as strong as it is when it comes from above our intellect. You have a desire to live. It's not logical. You don't even convince yourself, and that's so strong. Whereas you have a desire for something because you've thought about it. You know, people have a desire to whatever. Whatever it is. It doesn't go as, as strong because it's, it's intellectually built. And that's why the stubborn person is has a much stronger ratzin. And so what we're saying is, what we're saying is having that ratzin coming from being stubborn is a healthy thing. Meaning, of course, we have to use our intellect. Of course, we have to have to internalize the messages. But we also have, we also have to appreciate this this level of stubbornness, and this is sort of the key. Before we've managed to get to the level of learning and, and thinking we're learning, you know, if you want to do that, that would take at least a week. You have to learn a sikha a few times, like last night, to learn the sikha a few times, to really understand it. And then you have to try to forbring about it and see what am I taking out of this? What's the message that I can learn, live with? And then you start implementing it. That's a week. What are you going to do for the whole week? You just have to be stubborn. I'm doing the right thing. 
Why? Because I'm Jewish. That's what we do. I'm doing it. Let's go. And ah, oh, but I'm tired. Ah, oh, but it doesn't make sense. Ah, oh, but me and all. Oh, I'm not listening. I'm a I'm Kshayev. I'm a stubborn person. And that's why I'm going to be forgiven. That's why I'm going to be able to do the right thing. And it's going to give me the strength to do it. Let's go, oh, but let's talk about it. We'll understand it. Logically, it'll be good. So what we're saying here, it's not going to work. It, it, it's it. Let me do it. We can think about it later and we can discuss all these things later. And we should. We should. But now I'm just being stubborn. That's what I think. I don't want to take over more time and we'll finish tomorrow. Mitzvah this. And we'll go up to the next parak. Everyone should have an amazing, amazing day.